a former mill town, Bolton is historically known as being a production centre for textiles. Since Flemish weavers settled in the area in the 14th century, it is now claimed to be home of some of the most terrifying hauntings in the world. into this world knowing only life, yet death awaits us all. Using some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment, we endeavour to gather evidence that there is life after death. These are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Whatever you have seen, whatever you have felt, whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. of Bolton to investigate this little-known haunted jewel of a location. This is the Old Three Crowns, and this is Ghost Dimension. The Old Three Crowns is located in the heart of the town centre and has become famous locally as being one of the most haunted inns in the vicinity. Built in the mid-18th century, the pub has an oldie-worldie charm about it. But something more sinister seems to roam within. It is believed that in its early days the pub may have had a stable to the rear, as the sounds of horses' hooves and carriages have been heard, but never seen. Perhaps some form of time slip is occurring. <laughs> there are reports of paranormal activity throughout the pub, including the cellars, the beer garden to the rear, as well as the rooms which were once used by guests when it was a hotel. The upper floors are now derelict, but still contain some of the original features. The wallpaper is ripped and faded. Old furniture still remains in some of the rooms, and many of them have original gas lamps still attached to the walls in place of electric lights. The activity on the top floors appears to be that of a young girl and what reported to be a sinister angry male. The little girl seems to like to touch people and follow them around. She has also been seen and sensed fleeing in fear of an angry man who stalks the top floor. It is believed at some point in time the hotel may have operated as a brothel and that this angry man is connected with the activity. He's been seen walking the corridors and banging has been heard coming from a cane that he's been witnessed carrying. I lived here originally when I was younger. My mum and dad owned it so I grew up here. As I was younger I think I was more susceptible to the stuff going on in here. They wrote a book about it and they interviewed me. Ended up switching rooms with my mum and dad first time because I couldn't breathe in my sleep. When the first spiritualist came, she said there was a spirit of a man that was crushing my chest while I was asleep. He didn't like women. So they moved me into the other room and that stopped. I used to have visions of a little girl all the time and dreams about her, which she's been picked up on about six months ago, still being attached to me. And they've come up with the name Isabel and they use the EVP machine and the, is it the spirit box? And in their way, they said that they connected with Isabella and she's around me all the time. There's constant footprints, of, like footsteps up and down here when you're downstairs in the flat. 
just different things, glasses coming off the shelves downstairs. We have a lad that works here, David, and it seems to be when he's always on shift. They just explode and shoot off the shelves on the shelf. I choose not to come up here. If I can avoid it, I don't really come up. When my mum and dad had the pub, there was, you see, the gas kept turning itself off, so they called the gas man in. He'd been downstairs about 10 minutes when he come running up. The gas was turned off over his shoulder. He actually felt someone lean over and turn it off. It's a good job he did, because there was a hole in the line, so give it a week or so and the pub would have exploded. In the cellar, there's a holding cell. It used to go from under here over to the church, onto the middle of church gate and where the statue used to be. And that's where they would be beheaded or hung. So we used, they used to be held in the cellar down here and then took through the tunnel system and up to be hung or beheaded. There certainly seems to be someone or something haunting this location. But could there be another explanation for some of the activity reported here? So today we're at the Old Three Crowns in Bolton. It's a 18th century pub, so like most pubs that are around 200 years old, they always have their haunted stories tied to them. This pub in particular, there's been rumours of a little girl walking around and apparently she has been tugging on people. There's been rumours in the beer garden of people seeing paranormal activity. Like, it's in the beer garden, so chances are people were just drinking. There's also been rumours of a man with a cane walking around the floors, banging his cane every now and again that people can't hear. Um, it's an old building, 200 years. It's bound to have its own tales tied in with it from people who have been here for over the years. Drunk people see a lot of things that's not actually happening. So even with most pubs, they've always got a pool table in it, like we have here. With the pool cue hitting the ball, the crack, from a distance it'll sound a lot more like a bang rather than what it actually is. It's just a game being played by people. So over the years, there's been a lot of investigations here. So people have been coming in, they've been explaining what they've experienced, what they've seen. But the issue is, is people have been coming here investigating, not to debunk it, but rather to prove that there is something here. With that in mind, if you come in here expecting to see something, chances are you're going to see something. When people have been doing investigations upstairs, they've been hearing a lot of things. One thing in particular that they've been hearing is an old guy banging a cane. The thing is though, if you have a look upstairs, it's rarely derelict. The windows are skewed off point, uh, pigeons are flying around in the building. Chances are, if it, say a pigeon flies in, it sees some old food on the floor, it starts pecking at it. Chances are that's probably just the sound of the cane. Also with the windows being creaked open, the howling coming in will most likely be whatever noises that you think that people are talking about. It was interesting to hear Devante's explanations for what he believes could be the cause of the reported activity here. But what we could not explain is that before the investigation started, as we collected footage for the show, strange things started to happen to the crew. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. She's down here now doing the shots. Jesus. As you can hear, these really weird noises that something just got thrown. It was like um, one of these things on the floor, and then one of these, which you just literally heard on camera, went du -du dum So, freaky. There's no one here. I'm just doing the shots, as you can see. Look. That was mental. Can't believe that just happened. kitchen lad, right? I came here to look for a, another place to shoot the intro. And I heard like a, a voice that didn't sound like it was grounded, if you like. It sounded like it was a, it was away from me. It was a man's voice and I don't know what it was saying. Like stand back, something like along the lines, but I can't be sure that he was saying that. But it sounds like it came from here. With the spirits already starting to interact with us, even before the investigation has begun, we have high expectations for tonight that we will be able to make even more contact with the entities haunting the old Three Crowns. Ghost Dimension. Tonight, our journey takes us to the old Three Crowns, believed to be one of Bolton's most haunted public houses, and already we have experienced strange paranormal activity that we cannot explain. But what will tonight bring? 
as we delve deeper into this dark, foreboding building. So we're on the top floor now yeah. of the of the building, yeah. and um, we're going to investigate and see if we can maybe contact the the girl, um, or maybe the man. But after the experiences earlier today, with the noises and stuff that we've heard and the voices, I, I'm expecting it to be really, really good. Well, that was the daytime. Now it's nighttime. Let's see what we can uncover in this building. This meter, the eye meter, is already going off. <coughs> so it's something's. Uh, Kicking that off, we don't know what at the minute. And that'll go. Oh, see? That'll go brighter, but for the LEDs and it'll buzz. The stronger the energy. Yeah. We've also got the uh, ghost radar, which has got a sensor on it, which is uh, green, one which is red. And as soon as we um, pick up any energy in this room that may be a positive ionic energy. We will detect that on this meter by the green, and at the moment it's detecting red. If we switch it off and switch it on, it's gone back instantaneously to red, which is quite common in a, in a building. Yeah. Um, but if it starts flipping or interchanging, or even if it just purely stays on both green and red, that'll be very interesting. Yeah. And that'll mean that we have maybe a source of energy, and when we've checked and done the baselines already in here, there's nothing in here that should be causing anything. I felt like somebody was behind. Well, it's interesting that you said that because earlier on, when I was up here doing Ooh. pieces to camera, it's every time I speak. That is weird. Um, somebody tugged my coat. Again, it's going off. Sure. Um, so I don't know what that was. It's like somebody's trying to communicate with me. Whether that was the man who doesn't like women or the little girl, we don't know. We'll find out tonight, I suppose. I'm thinking back, you know, because that's alarming and it's the energy feels like it's coming from the door. Should we go and stand by the door? Yeah, let's go. Okay, is there a little girl? Oh. Wow. Hello? Go see if you can find the source. It's very sensitive, that. Oh, it's vibrating in my hand. Yeah. And now, these. Did you hear that? Ooh, no wow. way, no way. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, there was this. There was somebody like somebody stood over there, and then that alarmed. Uh, we were told that once upon a time, this area here was a holding cell. What was that? together. So, uh, this area here, once upon a time, was a holding cell. There was a tunnel that led from here to a square not far from here where people would be hung or beheaded, apparently. So we've just been told. So this, this could be an interesting area, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time in here in a few minutes. I'm going to stick a rem in, see if anything's happening, see if there's any residual energy that's using this tunnel to still go to their death, their execution perhaps. So it's uh, very cellar in this area because of the pumps and the barrels are down here. Just uh, obviously don't know this cellar at all so I don't know what the usual noises are a lot from the, the pumps. I just thought I heard somebody whistle or I heard a whistle. There's no electric in here. I was just trying to get a reading off the socket to see if anything did. But it's, it's derelict, there's no electric. I, I'm th look at it, I think we should go straight down there, Bex. Yeah, um, yeah. you go first. Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> if there's anybody here that wants to communicate with us. This is going mental. That is going mental. Tell us your name. 
or speak to us or come towards one of us. If that's you that... Oh, did you hear it? How was a little girl? Going... Can you hear it? Yeah, 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 behind me. Yeah. It's, it's the voice of the girl. Yeah, that was a scream. What the hell? As we investigate the top floor, we manage to capture a strange voice, which sounds like a warning to leave. Or speak to us, or come towards one of us. If that's you, that... Did you hear it? How was a little girl? Following this apparent warning, clear, audible bangs are also heard. That was a scream. What the hell? Had we just been warned by the little girl to go due to the impending presence of the angry man with his cane? And was the banging noise the actual sound of his cane hitting the floor as he moved closer to us? There's nobody up there, it's derelict. If that's you, do that again and come and speak to us. Can you touch us? It's back here. Go towards it, Bex. It's here. Let's just get a dual reading here. There's nothing interfering with my meter. It's on the other side of that wall. You're gonna need the light in here because I can't see and the floor's really uneven. Ooh. Okay, the teddy on the floor. I'm gonna put this in front of the teddy. Let's say that. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's ask. If there's anybody in here that would like to communicate that is alarming our meter right now, come forward and light it right up and let all the lights off. I just swear that just went off. This light went off as well. Did it? It's not went off. This went off. Light this meter up. Come towards it. This is continuous. And did you hear that? Sometimes? Yeah, I don't know if we'll get that on the audio, but there was there was footsteps. Try and see if you can find a source. Lower it. Shh. There's somebody crying. Hello? Are you over here? Is there somebody that's making banging noises down here? The ram's going again. I wasn't close enough for that. Thank you. Who's here? We'll have to get the obelisk out in a minute and see if we can get some communication going. It's got blurred again. I want the camera to focus on something. Thank you. Who are you? Can you let me know if you're still here? Make another noise, perhaps? Just as that happened, the REM went off. There's a noise from back there again. Getting some activity down here. Okay, there's that chain sound again. Is there somebody in here? My name's Paul. Just here to talk to you. If you'd like to talk to me, that would be fantastic. Ghost dimension. 
Our investigation tonight has taken us to the old Three Crowns in Bolton, and already we appear to be in the presence of a dark, negative entity. But what else could be in store for us? And what would we encounter as we continue to delve even deeper into this building? It's not raining outside, that's one thing I'm sure. It's in here. And somebody's tapping on the window. Oh my god. That's an hole. for picking this up. Well, I hope so. That just sounded like somebody ran down the hall. Oh, God, this is horrible. Yeah, let's go down, I'm thinking. Oh, every time we say let's go down, something's around us. Hello? Hey. What's up? Easy. I feel like somebody's following me. Hello? Are you in here? Whoa. That comes from, yeah. from down there. Feels like something's dragging me back to that room. Which room? That room. Let's go back then. If you're being dra if you're being drawn over there, let's go back. Back in the room, I feel like you're right, Bex. No. The teddy's on the floor now. That was sat up before. No way. Kicking off. No way. That's kicking off right by the teddy. The lights are lit up. No way. Oh my god! Who are you? Are you a man? There's definitely somebody here. Is there a child in here or a man? Is it a child? There is no clock. I know, but I can't hear. I can hear it. I can hear it. Turn it off and reset it, otherwise. Listen, just listen. Do you hear that? Tap, tap, tap. Three. Can you tap again? I don't know if we would have got that. Let's just listen here. Is there a child in here that we heard crying before? The box is on the floor. The metal stick's coming out. Oh, did you hear that then? Is 
there somebody down here that would like to talk to me? Try and use your energy. Now that. That sounds. That really sounded to me like a horse. Obviously there wouldn't be a horse down here, but that sounded like a, a horse, horse's hooves. But there is a report that that has been heard outside at the rear of the, gar of the, uh, the pub in the beer garden area. Thought that once upon a time there were stables there. And just for a second that kind of set. Who's here? Talk to me, give me your name, use your energy to manipulate this device. All right, use your energy to manipulate this device and it said all right. Thank you, are you going to talk to me then? Are you going to tell me things? Let me know stuff. Give me your name. Say something, my name's Paul. Try and tell me your name if you can please. Did you just call us in here? Oh. I'm telling you, somebody's down there. I heard them run. Follow me. They're stopping us going over there. Let's go over. You know what I think it is? Can I just say before we go in? I what a theory. I think it is. Jury. No, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Okay. I did, okay. you know, just, just one oh, second, no, just no, one I second, felt it. I felt it the floor, it. The, thud, yeah. the floor, and it moved, yeah, yeah, yeah. it just bloody moved, what is behind me? okay, hop, 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 okay, just whoa, just whoa, yeah, okay, right, something, as Bex was just giving her theory, yeah, jumps on the floor, now I don't know if the audio have got it, but we definitely felt the fud of it on the floor, can I carry on saying, I think, the little girl that we spoke about earlier is in that room with Teddy, okay? Obviously the little girl... Sorry, there's something just appeared there. What was it? I saw a white light with my own eyes just appear there. Obviously the little girl is uh, nice. I think whatever's in here may be nice. And I think every time we try... That's running. Yeah. Somebody was running. You feel it. I think floor. every time we try and go down that end of the, the house, the, the, the rooms, somebody's warning us not to. Because every time we speak about it, this is turned off at the minute. Every time we speak about it, this machine goes crazy. Yeah. Somebody's warning us. And that's rain on the roof we can hear. That's rain. Whoa. Okay. Oh my god. I'm going to turn this meter back on. And then we're going to go we're down go there. go back down there, yeah? Yeah. Let's brave it out. We can do it. Let's just take our time. If that keeps going off until we get down there, but... That was a room we've just Is been that in. crying? Yeah. Every... Oh. <sighs> what? When we walked out of the room, we felt like somebody was walking behind me. It's okay. Let's do it. Let's go. I don't remember. Is there somebody down here? Talk to me, please. Let me know that you're here. Did you come down this tunnel on your way to being executed? Deep. going on with the noises in this place? Observe. observe. So we've just had deep and observe. Are you watching me? Are you observing me from a distance? Are you in this this tunnel? Is it you that keeps making the noises? Ghost dimension. 
the old Three Crowns is one of Bolton's most haunted locations and the activity we had all been experiencing was powerful. Also, during a quick break before we continued the investigation, both Jane and I experienced activity in the bar area downstairs. Just as I sat here talking to Bex, um, I've just seen a black shadow go from that corner straight to the baby chair there, to the corner of my eye. And it's weird because just as Jane said that, I got goosebumps from the toes right up into my head. So what could it be? Somebody joining us? With the activity interrupting the break, we decided to head straight back in an attempt to capture more of the apparent paranormal activity. Paul headed upstairs, while Sean and I head down deep into the basement. So into the cellar we go. Into, yes. We've got our meters. We are going to investigate the um, boiler room first down here to see if um, we can come into... I heard that. Did you hear that? That was one of those glasses at the back. Did you? That was. It sounded like somebody moved something. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's weird. Boom. Oh. That's weird. <laughs> you getting a spike? I am. Oh, hang about a minute. That's one of those on the floor. We could have accidentally knocked it then, but that spiked. Are you here with us now? It, it's here. No way. Yeah, we're both reading. Mine's on and off. Mine's not continuous. That is strange. Are it... you the man who turned the gas off? <gasps> Did you hear that knock? Clicking her back, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is the boiler box. Whoa! Y No. Sorry, that was me. That was so clear and so loud. That was super loud. So, on the very, on the very top floor of the Three Crowns. out. There's one there and there's one going off in here. Now we found that telly before. I'll put it there. We're going to try in a little while the spirit box session <coughs> and an EVP. If there's anybody in here that scared somebody away and is known to be in this area for like a cobweb all over my face. Okay. Are you alarming the meter here? <gasps> Do you hear that? Yeah. And the meter alarmed. Yeah. Oh, and again, look. Can you give us a knocking sound? It's like a cough. So it's, it's subtle. It's, like it's subtle Good noises. Let's go back in. Other than, I don't think it will last more than a couple of minutes in here because it's so damn hey. hot. Hey. Yeah. When we were about to leave that room. Dreary. What? Did the you hear heck? that? Yeah, yeah, that was out here. Something's out there. Like somebody laughed at us. Yeah. That was, do you know I would borderline say? It was like a witch's cackle. Well, that's what I thought, or like a clam laugh. Did that's you see? Did, well, did you capture that? I'm not sure if we got. Let's go down here where the cell was. I see something moving behind me. Constant headache on this investigation. 
Yeah. Okay, there's a lot. Yeah, but there's a lot of natural noises down here. Yeah. Because of the, the um, isolation pumps. Could that be because of these machines? Yeah. Right. Like the EMF's going mad in here, yeah. Huh? The EMF's going crazy in here. Well, what's then, but I'm trying to... I mean, there's a lot of wires in here. So it could be just natural, but it's... Then again, it's just stopped. If it was a wire, it was electrical, it would literally stay on. Oh, I feel like you've got cupboards all over me. Yeah, I did before. When we was in the... Yeah, uh, boiler room. room. Boiler room. I, I know it's meant to be cool down here, but it feels like it's getting colder. Yeah. Colder, like really cold. Over here, this is, this, this is where you would have got locked up, the cell, before you got taken to the executor. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that definitely wasn't paranormal whatsoever. <laughs> it wasn't. Unbelievable. Let's see what's going on. There. So, somebody in this room with me, by all means, use that device that has just lit up. Thank you. Thank you. Can you step away from it now, please? Thank you. Now I'll step away and stay away for a moment. Are you a little girl? And I ask that question and that one goes off. And now the one in the other room's gone off. Paul's REM pods appear to be intelligently responding to his questions and pulling him into the same room where both Sean and I had received the most activity. Could this have been caused by the little girl? And was she attempting to move Paul into a safer room away from the alleged angry spirit? Is there a little girl here, please? Thank you, step away from that. If you're a little girl, step away. Thank you. Can you talk to me? Can you give me your name? Say your name as loud as you can into this little silver box that I've got in my left hand. This one I'm waving. Can you speak to me please? Use your voice. That's really good. My name's Paul. What's your name? really good can you step away from it though please and try and talk to me through this step away thank you say your name as loud as you can not that way try and speak to me Use this device. Say your name. I'm glad you like those, but I need you to talk to me. I need you to find another way to talk to me and communicate with me. Ghost dimension. Well, listen, listen, listen. Sound? Wow! Somebody's down here, yeah? Somebody has to be down here. Hello? There's no one there. There's nobody here. That was definitely in this room. Yeah. Is anybody around here with us? We just made that noise. Can you bang like this? Walk towards me, I have a meter in my hand. If I'm just gonna, just gonna move the area. Do you hear that? It's going off. Yeah. I thought, I, 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 I thought somebody touched me. One, two, three. And then boom. Did I knock three times or two? One, two, three. One, two. 
bag. Can you hear that? What can you hear? Whispering. I'm not sure. Let's go in here. God, it's so black, you know, when you take that light off. It's super, super dark. Okay. I'm going to put this on here. Come towards it. Light it up and make it buzz. It's got lights on it. Oh, good. Oh, I know. Just so no. much. What's going on? That just went mad. There was some noise, like some shifting behind you, and then the door just started squeaking. You heard that, right? Yeah, I did. Isabel? Isabel or Thomas, are you here? Definitely not alone in here. This is going mental, this K2. Knock, knock. Like the door's just opened. Jesus, which one? That door. That was slightly open anyway. Right. Okay. I heard knock, knock, and the noise got louder. Come towards us and make you stronger energy if you can. Do that, knock, knock. I didn't. Was it subtle over there? Yeah, it was behind me. That's oh, and still the meter went isn't off. It? I saw that going off, it went off, didn't Look. it? <gasps> no. So whoever it is is behind me. Oh my God. Is, is there anybody out there? This is going to red. No. Yeah. Hey, come in. Just, just try the experiment. Because I've got. I'm on this K2. Just turn your light off a minute. See. Look. Look, it's gone red. It's when you you know when we're in the dark. Yeah. And we're getting no EMF readings in here. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put your lights on now if you want. Just the just could see the lights better and every I'm time you turn. Stand over here. You stand okay. over there. Yeah. Every time you went dark. Is it still going off? Yeah. Wow going to red sometimes. This room is a hive of activity. It's just continuously active. Yeah, I agree there. Ghost dimension. The old three crowns did not disappoint tonight, and it was clear to Ghost Dimension that the claims of an angry male spirit and child are real. There seems to be an interdimensional battle between them both. <laughs>